Welcome back to another episode of the Four Expedition Gear Guide. This episode is brought to you by Rock Pals, Northwest Overland, Black Label Garage, and by our Four Expedition Patreon supporters. Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Four Expedition Gear Guide. I'm Scott Luthold. Today we're going to take a look at the Sierra Designs Front Country Bed 20 Zipperless Sleeping Bag. So let's get started. That's right, my friends. I said zipperless sleeping bag. This is a patent pending design, and I think it's a really unique design. I've never seen something like this before. I slept in this sleeping bag last night up in my rooftop tent, and I've got some really interesting insights to share with you about the things I liked and the things I didn't like. But before we do that, I think I'll go around and show you all the features that this sleeping bag has. All right, as I mentioned, this is a zipperless sleeping bag, so I'm sure you're very curious as to how you're able to sleep inside this thing and still stay warm. As you can see here, there's this rounded opening here. And inside, there is what I would consider to be like a comforter top. And it's sewn in down here at the bottom and uh, circles around, the sewing circles around here at the bottom. And you can take this inside comforter and pull it out and fold it back. It's got a really unique design to it because you can sleep it with, it with it wide open or you can sleep with it completely closed. Your head can tuck all the way now underneath here and uh, your head will stay very, very warm or you can lay that flat and put a pillow on top of that and sleep on top of it. But this comforter, rolls up like this and you tuck it underneath on either side and then you can roll it back some if you'd like or whatever and it stays inside the outer sides of both sides of this sleeping bag. Another really interesting thing I like about it is that when you fold this back here if you sleep with this open and you're sleeping on your back there are little pockets here on either side you can see right here you can stick your hands inside those pockets so your arms can be out, but your hands can still stay warm if you so choose. Fold that back up and it's completely secure inside. Another feature I find particularly interesting is very similar to the top where there's no zippers, but there's this sort of flap opening. Underneath here, you'll see that the sleeping bag is completely open. So you can have it so your feet stick completely out or you can have it where your feet stick completely out and you cover them up with uh, the top of the sleeping bag. Or you can put your feet inside the sleeping bag and it's uh, pretty secure and overlaps here and it's not like a normal sleeping bag. So you have the ability to have your feet sticking out if you get hot. You have the ability to close up the top if you're cold. You can fold back the top. And so it's quite versatile for all sorts of different sleeping conditions. And, um, you know, many people get hot easily and many people get cold easily. And so having a sleeping bag like this that has such versatility is uh, kind of a neat benefit. Another thing I like about this sleeping bag is like many sleeping bags these days, it's got a sleeping pad sleeve. And this one is adjustable in size. It can fit a 20 inch sleeping pad or it can fit a 25 inch sleeping pad. And so you can slide your sleeping pad inside there and it keeps your sleeping bag on top of the pad so you're not sliding off the pad in the middle of the night. Another thing I have to say I like about this sleeping bag is that even though it's a mummy style sleeping bag, it's a wide format mummy. And I think mummy sleeping bags are ideal for backpacking and maybe my stand up paddleboard expeditions and things like that where you have to make sure your bag is compact and compressed as small as possible. And uh, that mummy shape takes out some of that extra weight and material. In my rooftop tent, I don't really need a mummy style, but that's what I've been using for quite a while now. And so I think having a bag like this is more ideal for inside the rooftop tent. I have more leg room, which I really like and have the ability to ventilate my feet if I so choose. And so I think this is a, gonna be a, a better sleeping bag for inside of a rooftop tent. The Front Country Bed 20 comes in two different sizes, a regular size, which is four pounds, 15 ounces or 2.23 kilograms, or a long size, which is five pounds, 14 ounces or 2.66 kilograms. As I mentioned, it's a 20 degree Fahrenheit bag or seven degrees Celsius. The comfort level is more like 31 degrees Fahrenheit or one degree Celsius. One of the things I really like about it is that it is a mummy sleeping bag, but it's sort of an oversized integrated comforter. The fill of this sleeping bag is made with Sierra Loft polyfiber synthetic material. The one I'm showing you here is the regular size.
All right, so let's talk the pros and cons. I slept in this sleeping bag last night. It probably dropped down into, I'd say the high 30s. I'm at about 9,500 feet in elevation right now in Flagstaff, Arizona, up against the San Francisco peaks on Mount Humphreys. And uh, so it did drop down into the high 30s more than likely. Um, I found myself to stay pretty warm. Now, there were a couple experiences where my arms got cold. And I think there could be a couple reasons for that. Number one, uh, my sleeping pad is fairly narrow and the sleeping bag itself uh, drapes down off the sides of the sleeping pad. There's a good possibility that with that sleeping bag touching the floor, it might have gotten a little colder. And there were a few times when the sides of the comforter popped out. Now, the other issue is I'm a side sleeper and I don't necessarily feel like this system is ideal for side sleeping, but I will tell you this, it's way better for side sleeping than a typical mummy. I mean, a mummy is designed for you to sleep on your back. And when you roll on your side, the whole mummy rolls with you. I get a little bit claustrophobic in a typical mummy sleeping bag. I can do it and I have to overcome a little bit in my, my mind, I guess, before I go to sleep oftentimes. But this sleeping bag definitely had a lot more room for the, for the legs and for my arms. I think that was really great. Uh, it would it was more ideal for me to sleep on my back with this sleeping bag, and I stayed warmer. When I when I rolled onto my sides, I tend to feel like I got a little bit um, uh, some cold spots uh, appeared. I also did not sleep with my head underneath the head hood. I slept with a regular pillow with my uh, head outside of the sleeping bag head hood, and I usually wear a beanie cap at night to keep my head warm that way. Uh, so overall, I think that I like this sleeping bag more than your typical mummy, especially when you're car camping. Uh, definitely has a lot more room. And the zippers, you know, when you sleep with a sleeping bag with zippers, those zippers can get cold. So if you don't have on the inside of your sleeping bag, you don't have some sort of a padded zipper protector, you're touching that, that zipper and it can get fairly cold. The other thing I don't really like about zipper sleeping bags is that oftentimes that zipper gets caught on things and it becomes a real pain, especially if you have to get up in the middle of the night to do something and you can't really see, you have to turn on a light. This is kind of neat because you don't really have to deal with zippers at all and all you have to do is tuck yourself back in. And there were times, you know, in the morning when I woke up this morning, uh, when I was able to fold that comforter back and just stick my hands in that in the little pockets. So I think overall, it's it's got a lot of really cool innovations to it. And you don't really see a lot of sleeping bag innovations coming around these days. And I think Sierra Designs has really been thinking out of the box. I've known about Sierra Designs for probably 35 years. Man, back in my early 20s, I had an ultralight backpacking tent by Sierra Designs. And uh, it was a really great ultralight tent. And I hadn't really had uh, any products since then by Sierra Designs. And this is the first I've had in quite a while. I really think this is a nice sleeping bag. I'm going to continue to give it a try in my rooftop tent and um, assume that it's gonna improve over time with me learning how to use it properly and uh, sleep in it in my rooftop tent when the temperatures are in the 20s and uh, I'll be able to maintain comfort inside there. So all in all, I think it's a, it's a nice sleeping bag. I will continue to use it. I'll probably do a follow-up review on this down the road. All right, everybody, I think that's it for this episode of Fork Expedition Gear Guide. I hope you learned something new about the Sierra Designs Front Country Bed 20 Zipperless Sleeping Bag. If you have any questions, definitely leave your comments down below. I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have. If you haven't become a subscriber to my channel, I encourage you to become one. Of course, be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when videos go live. And if you'd like to support Fork Expedition, go to ForkExpedition.com and go to our store. We have a lot of really cool things in there you can buy. And if you'd like to become a member of Team 4X, go to ForkExpedition.com slash join to learn more. Until the next time, take care.